So if current trends continue, it's only a matter of time before marriage equality becomes the law of the land, which is awesome. 59% of Americans now support it, which is the highest percentage ever, as opposed to only 30% who oppose it. But that 30% is still pretty vocal and resorting to some really shitty tactics in order to keep marriage equality from happening. Now I've shut down a lot of arguments against marriage equality on this channel, but perhaps my favorite one due to its sheer lack of logic is that same sex marriage shouldn't be allowed because it's gross. Two men kissing is gross. Two men having butt sex is gross. So therefore, it shouldn't be allowed. To which I have to say, really? There are plenty more things out there that are far more disgusting and yet perfectly legal. So if you think gays getting married are gross, just wait till you hear this list that I made. Now just fair warning, my goal is to get you to gag by the end of this video. If you're at all squeamish or easily shocked, then maybe this one isn't for you. If you have to click away at any moment, I'm gonna place a card right here that will take you to a much nicer video that you can enjoy. And also, I cannot stress this enough, just because the stuff that I list here is technically legal certainly does not mean that you should go out and attempt any of them. Also, in advance, mom, I am so, so, so sorry. All right. Here we go. An 89 year old man marrying a 26 year old woman and then kissing her on the mouth and then consummating the marriage. Just think about that for a second. Eating nothing but raw eggs for two weeks and then bottling up all of your rancid farts so that you can smell them later. I call that a Brian Fisher. Childbirth. Collecting your ass sweat over the course of months and months, letting it ferment and then drinking it. Piercing your own genitals with a rusty nail. The movie The Last Song. Getting a sinus infection and then blowing your nose on two pieces pieces of bread and then making a sandwich with your infected snot and a couple of raw anchovies. I call that a Rick Perry. Eating a placenta. People who kiss their dogs on the mouth. Using the same pair of gym shorts and gym socks and gym shoes and underwear every day for 30 years. Stapling your scrotum to the roof of your house and then jumping off. I call that one a Bill O'Reilly. Rocky Mountain oysters which are actually flattened bull testicles that you deep fry and then eat. Collecting various semen samples from anonymous consenting strangers, waiting for that jar to start growing maggots, and then spreading that rancid mix on your face. I call that one a Marcus Bachman. Perez Hilton's face. Just look at it. Not bathing for several weeks and then collecting all of the crusty dirt from under your fat folds and then using that to make jam. I call that one a Ted Cruz. Gluing a bunch of rock salt and broken glass to a softball and then inserting that softball up your butthole. I call that one a Mike Huckabee. Collecting a bunch of dead cockroaches and then using those dead cockroaches to make granola bars. Picking up your pet's poop with your bare hands and then licking it clean. I call that one a Pat Robertson. My heart will go on the techno remix. Filling up a kiddie pool with dirty used motor oil and dead fish, leaving it there for about a week, and then taking a bath in it. I call that one the Coke Industries. Infecting your own mouth with nine different strains of herpes. I call that one a Rush Limbaugh. Wearing socks with sandals. Marrying your first cousin. Assuming you live in a state like Florida or Georgia or Alabama or South Carolina. Open mouth kissing someone who hasn't brushed their teeth in at least six years. Assuming that everyone is aware and consents. Inserting a pear inside your vagina, letting it sit there and fester for about a week, and then taking that out and eating it. I call that one a Michelle Bachman. Painting your walls with menstrual blood. Dubstep. Drinking a smoothie that's made with stagnant pond water, rancid milk, and your own urine. Not tipping your server. Keeping pigs in cages that are so small that they can't even turn around, so they literally just have to sit there in their own filth until they literally go insane. At least in the state of New Jersey, thanks to Chris Christie. Constructing a giant statue of the demon Beezlebub using nothing but used tampons and toenail clippings. I call that one the Ann Coulter. Using freedom of religion as a crutch when in reality you're just a bigot that hates people that are different from you. The word panties. Just listen to it. 
panties. Attempting to clear out someone's yeast infection using nothing but your tongue. Again, assuming that all parties consent. Walking around barefoot until your feet are covered in blisters, and then popping all of your blisters and draining all of the dirty pus into a cup, and then drinking that. I call that one a Mike Pence. Catfishing someone, provided that you're not trying to screw them out of any money. Blaming a rape victim for their own rape. Saying that it was what the victim was wearing or what they were doing, and arguing that rapists just simply can't control themselves. Disgusting? Yes. Totally legal though. Picketing a baby's or a soldier's funeral to further your own selfish, stupid, idiotic, and hateful agenda. Being the CEO of a company that doesn't even pay its workers a living wage and forces them all to collect food stamps and government benefits and drain government resources while you sit there and collect a multi-million dollar paycheck. And finally, invading the privacy of millions of Americans and foreign citizens without a warrant by listening on their phone calls, reading their texts and their emails, following their search history, and tracking their whereabouts. As long as you work for the NSA. I'm not quite sure if this last one is technically legal, but the point is that there are people doing that right now and they're completely and totally getting away with it. Still with me? Awesome. I'm glad we made it through. Sorry if any of these items were shocking or distressing in any way, but I'm trying to prove a point. LGBT rights have advanced farther than ever recently, which has of course triggered a backlash. God forbid a baker in Indiana or Alabama have to bake a cake for a gay wedding. If they do, they'll be forced to picture the two grooms consummating their marriage in an infinite loop over and over and over in their heads. Listen, if you think gay sex or gay relationships are gross, then don't do it. Boom, problem solved. And if treating LGBT people equally forces you to have a never ending loop of horrible gay sex on your brain, first off, you might wanna see a psychiatrist. And second of all, now you have 40 new alternatives to help get that horrible image out of your brain. All I have to say is, you're welcome. Right, so I feel like I've said enough awful things for one video. I just want to stress this one more time. Please, please, please do not attempt any of the things that I listed here. Just because something is technically legal doesn't mean that you won't be institutionalized if you attempt it. Also, if you appreciate the message of this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't be afraid to spread it around a little bit. Also, if you come up with another item that belongs on a list like this, be sure to share it in the comments below. I will see you guys soon with a much, much nicer video. Till then, my name is RJ. Thank you so much for watching. God, mom, I'm so, so, so sorry.